drum lessons. Today would be your very first lesson if you've never played the drums before. Today I'm going to show you how to hold your drumsticks. So these are drumsticks right here. So there's two ways that you can hold your drumstick. There's called matched grip and traditional grip. Matched grip is the most popular I would say. Uh, traditional grip would be if you're playing more jazz is what I've seen it in. So for tr matched grip, what you want to do is you want to place your thumb on the top of the stick and the first bend on your index finger at the bottom of the stick then loosely wrap around your other three fingers on the stick. And then turn your palm facing down and you want to use your wrist when you're playing the drums because if you use your arm it's going to get really sore. So use your wrist. So you do the same thing with your left hand. You put your thumb on the top First bend on your index finger at the bottom and loosely wrap around your other three fingers. Put your palms facing down and use your a wrist motion. That's how you play the drums with a matched grip. Now for a traditional grip, your right hand would stay the same in matched grip. But your left hand would be traditional grip. So it's like if you're going to have a water gun. You just put your stick in between your thumb and your index finger. Then put your index finger on the stick and have it in between your index and your ring finger. And leave your palm facing up and use a wrist motion. So that's the way it would be for traditional grip. Okay? So those are the two different ways you can play the drums. Um, basically personal preference. Uh, now I'll tell you the four parts to a drumstick. The top here is the tip. It can either be a plastic tip or nylon tip or a wooden tip. I personally like the nylon tip, but it's a uh, personal preference again. Then right here is the shoulder of your stick, and the shaft, and then the butt end of the stick. So those are the four parts of your drum stick. Okay, now I'm going to tell you the parts of the drum kit. So to start with, I'm going to show you, this is the snare drum right here. So snare drum sits right in front of you. Now a snare drum is called a snare drum because it has snare wires at the bottom. So if you feel underneath your snare, there's wires. And they're most likely tight right now. If you loosen the knob on the side of your snare, and then feel your snare wires will be loose. So if you hit the snare with it, it down, it sounds like this. If you put your snare wires up, it tightens the wires and it sounds like this. There's also a knob here that you can adjust the sound of your snare if you like it tighter or looser. So that's your snare drum. Now the big drum, the big bass drum on the floor, I kind of remember it like it's down in the basement. So this is your bass drum and you use your right foot to kick it. That's your bass drum. Over here we have our hi-hat cymbals. Now it kind of looks like a hat. If you go like this, it kind of looks like a hat. So that's how I remember, a hi-hat cymbals. Now we're going to look at our um, other cymbals. So this is our ride cymbal. And the way we play a ride cymbal is with the tip of our stick. So it would be like this. Now this is your crash cymbal. Both of these are crash cymbals over here. This is a 16 inch, this is an 18 inch. And you want to use your shoulder when you're playing your crash cymbal like this. So if you're going along for a ride in your car, hope you don't. 
So that's all I remember. Ride, crash. Now we're going to look at the toms. This is your high tom. It's got a higher tone. And this is your floor tom. It has the lowest tone. Your floor tom actually sits on the floor. So that's how you can remember that. These can also be uh, referred to as rack toms. Um, sometimes you have a high tom and then another tom, a mid tom. So the high tom has the highest tone, mid tom is a medium tone, and floor tom is your lowest tone. So that's the parts of your drum kit.